Hey there people, how's it going? This is Cross the Rubicon Channel. Well, New Zealand. Politics is really heating up here. And, well, there's a lot of people reading about New Zealand all around the world because they know it's a guinea pig country for the globalist predator class. But, is that ride over? We don't know. Now, we've got a new national government in New Zealand. The Prime Minister... Chris Luxon, I believe, is weak as piss. But Winston Peters, the 78-year-old veteran, is now back in government. And on the lead-up to the election, he was saying a whole lot of things that were true. He spoke about the media being bribed $55 million a year by the Labour government, Jacinda Ardern, to support everything she did and everything radical Maori extremists in New Zealand elites said what they believed the treaty really meant, the Treaty of Waitangi. The Treaty of Waitangi was signed February the 6th, 1840, by hundreds of chiefs up and down New Zealand at Waitangi, which is in the far north. These radical extremists Maori, plus the far left academics, say it was a partnership. It was not a partnership. The treaty was, and it's in the articles, it's as clear as day. And to, to check it out yourself, have a look at the Littlewood Draft. The Littlewood Draft was the final draft that was written and then copied into Maori by Henry Williams and his son. So the real treaty that was signed was the Maori version, but that was copied from the Littlewood Draft. So anyway, have a look at the Littlewood Draft, if you're interested. Now Maori, Maori are saying it was a partnership, 50-50 partnership. It was not. It's a lie. All the treaty was, basically, was giving Maori the rights and privileges of British citizens and signing over sovereignty of this nation for that. What did the treaty do for Mary? It stopped the perpetual state of war, genocide, slavery, infanticide, and cannibalism. That is what it stopped. Lots of these ra radical Mary extremists, politicians and academics, and radical Mary in the street, they would like to take us back to that stage before 1840. They want ownership of the air we breathe. They want ownership of every square inch of New Zealand. They even want ownership of the rain that falls from the skies. They want it all, which is worth billions and billions and billions. A lot of radical Maori extremists, including JT and the leader of the Greens party, I forget his name, in New Zealand, James Shaw, These people are saying Maori will riot in the streets. They will cause such, such disruption if there's a referendum on the treaty in New Zealand. Because they know it's fake and they know the vast majority of New Zealand will vote against these radical Maori extremists. In New Zealand, these radical Maori extremists and the Labour Party believe that democracy is tyranny by the majority. That's what they're actually saying. They don't believe in democracy. They are calling it tyranny of the majority, which is democracy. They want tyranny of the minority. And the minority in New Zealand who want all the power and 50-50 governorship of this country, country with veto power over the other 50%. So that basically is 100% power. That is what they want. The people that want this look much like myself. They've got less Maori in them than what they have European. That is a fact. There's not one single Maori in New Zealand where they are mostly Maori. Or every single Maori is mostly either British or Irish or Dutch or whatever. But the least part of them, every one of them, is Mary. 
it's just a fact and because they've got a bit of Maori in them they get themselves a bit of education they learn to speak Te Rio they want it all back and Winston Peters is the only man that's saying no and Winston is a Maori it's fantastic it's great it's great to watch it's great to watch these lunatics like John Campbell and many others, these journalists, anchors on TV, Jack Tame, a lot of these female journalists, I forget their names, because I don't really watch the news here. I just see the highlights on YouTube or whatever. But then these people are, are totally insane and they're bribed and they're corrupt. I would call John Campbell and Jack Tame either stupid, liars, or they're corrupt. But that's where we are in New Zealand. So hopefully New Zealand is taking a turn for the better. We need a referendum on this Treaty of Waitangi or the Treaty of Waitangi. We need a referendum and this needs to be sorted out. And once and for all, stop these radical Maori extremists making demands that's going to cost this country dear and every single person in it and turn us into Zimbabwe of the South Pacific. Okay, this is Cross Rubicon. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. The dog's pulling me. The dog's pulling the chain. Subscribe to my channel, share this video everywhere. If you want to help me out, buy me a coffee. I'll leave the details below. See you later.